with the presence of Army General Raul Castro Ruz and the Cuban President Miguel Diaz Canel Bermudez, the second extraordinary session of the 10th Legislature of the Cuban Parliament was held on Thursday at Havana's International Convention Center. From Havana, our correspondent Fabiola Lopez tells us more. The second extraordinary session of the 10th Legislature of the Cuban Parliament began with an update on the country's economic situation. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Economy and Planning, Alejandro Hill, explained to the deputies that agricultural production and inflation are two of the biggest challenges facing the national economy. Hill said that the country urgently needs to curb the deficit in agricultural production and warned that without agricultural production, there can be no price control. There are different causes for the current inflation, some of which we cannot solve. There is an inflation that has to do with the increase in purchases and exports. There are many raw materials that we have to import, which we don't produce in the country, that have become more expensive, in some cases twice as much. If compared to 2019, I'll give you an example. A sheet of cooking oil for the region Carquota in 2019 it cost 8 million dollars. Today it cost 16 millions. Although we have had delays, we have continued to provide that region of oil. Then there is the inflation caused by inefficiency, low years, which translates to prices, which we could counter with more efficiency and innovation, being very organized and with more discipline. Thursday's agenda also included the debate on the draft bill on social communication, which passed with an unanimous vote, and which has been described by experts and deputies as necessary, timely, pertinent, and audacious. This is not only the first higher law derived directly not just from a constitution, but from a socialist constitution. Members of the parliament, the historical significance of this law goes far beyond our geography. In addition, this will be the first all comprehensive communications law in Latin America as it goes beyond sectors. Usually communication is approached by sectors and services, but this law brings them all together, which is unprecedented and a long time aspiration by both professionals and academics in Latin America with whom we have often discussed this issue. President Miguel Díaz-Canel said that the social communication law is a first step in the process of organizing the communication system in Cuba. As the law is a norm with a high strategy in path, which will regulate one of the areas under attack. Debates mostly focused on specific aspects of the norm that could favor or legitimize certain subversive elements which could affect national security. In a context of intense media warfare, the main points raised at such debates were made from a preventive standpoint against such subversion focusing mostly on who should own the media and how to regulate a sponsorship, especially a sponsorship of the arts. In that line, changes were made to avoid ambiguities or possible misinterpretation that could contradict the spirit and the letter of the Constitution. The Cuban president said that adhering to ethics, virtue and responsibility without rhetoric with convincing arguments and a true feeling, the revolution is true dialogue and does not negotiate its existence. Fabiola López, Telesur, La Habana.